So this is a four player setup for Gnome Hollow. And we're gonna talk about each of these individual components. All of the information can be found in the rule book. Uh, so feel free to refer to that. Let's go over components. So these are the components of Gnome Hollow. Um, these are individual mushroom tokens and these are harvested off of the tiles. These are the tiles of the garden that are growing. This is a optional board, so this is variant play, uh, where mushroom trades are made when you visit these signposts. And these are the signposts that go into the garden. Over here we have eight wildflower tiles. Um, this is a wildflower tile, and these are the wildflower tokens that go on top of that tile and these tokens can be collected by players throughout the game. Over here we have the trade board. So this is where players are gonna come to trade mushrooms for treasure over here. And each time like a trade is taken, you're gonna block that trade with one of these cubes so that another player can't get that trade. And lastly, we have a little bag and it's full of tiles. So that you can draw any tiles to replace this row. Now, Okay, this is the player board. You'll notice that there's a unique track right here that scores from one to 25. This is the score track and it's gonna affect two different things. The first thing that it's gonna to connect to are these slots along the top. These slots on the top are for when you're collecting flower tokens through the garden from wildflowers. And as these are increased, added to your thing, your score is going up. So this actually represents six points in wildflower tokens. This track works the opposite way. Where this is an additive track, this is a reductive track. And every time I create a ring, I'm going to move a ring marker down to score it. This has increased my score to one. So I have one point in rings. These five columns represent the size of rings created in the garden. So this is a three tile ring worth the size, a four tile ring, a five tile ring, a six tile ring, and a seven plus tile ring. Each time the qualifications are met for this, players are gonna be able to choose which reward they want from that five tile ring. So let's say I create a five tile ring. I'm gonna move this ring marker here. As soon as I remove that ring marker, I'm going to get a wildflower tile. That's how wildflower tiles are obtained by players, by creating rings. And the bonus is added immediately to the player board. This tile is now available to be used on a future turn by a player. You'll also find this symbol under the fourth and the sixth rings you make. So, plan those rings wisely. This here, let's talk about these symbols. This means that if I place a ring here, I would immediately place one of the signposts into the garden, into the ring I just formed. And I would immediately get the bonus. So if I did this, I would get three red mushrooms, then I would place this into the ring. These would be added to my player board to be traded in for treasure later on. If I choose this reward here, I will immediately be allowed to collect another tile and place it here for a future turn in my storage. If I choose this reward, I can gather any flower token from the garden and add it to my track at the top. Now my flower total is 14. If I choose this reward, then I would be able to take two additional mushrooms off of whatever ring I had just formed. And those would be stored immediately here with the additional rings. Now, these two rewards are the only two that offer this plus sign. And what that plus sign means is that when I create a seven plus ring, I'm going to immediately move two markers, one, 
two. And then I'm going to get my signpost reward. So using the player board, plan the shape and size of your circles carefully so that you can get the rewards that you need the most. And that's the player board. All right, so let's look at how this all combines together and how rings are formed into the garden. So starting with the tile, and on my turn, I can do the following two things. So I'm gonna be able to place two tiles into the garden and any other two tiles if I have them stored. And then I'm gonna move a gnome to take one of four actions. On a first turn, it's always gonna be reserve a path. So that's what we're gonna do. This is what that looks like. So I'm gonna take my first tile. I'm just gonna place it here. And I think for my second tile, I'm going to place that right there. Those are my two tiles. And so now I'm going to take one of my gnomes and move it right here. And I'll just land like that so you can see them there. So that's my turn. I'm going to reach into the bag. I'm going to draw two new tiles. Okay. One, two. And now it's blue gnome's turn. Blue Gnome's gonna place two tiles, so let's see here. Well, this seems like a, a pretty safe bet. Actually, let's take this one. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna slide that in right there. And Blue Gnome's gonna take this, and place that right there. And Blue Gnome is gonna reserve that ring for his action. So now it's back to Yellow Gnome. So we're going to draw two new tiles. And now it's his turn. So let's see here. We're going to go with that guy right there. And we're going to go with that guy right there. All right. We are well on our way. And for my action, I'm going to move my gnome right there. Because I think I want to build there next. Back to blue gnome. We're going to draw two new tiles. And Blue Gnome needs this one. So we're going to take that and we're going to place it right there. Now he gets one more tile. So let's see what he wants to do. I think uh, we're going to go with... We're going to place this just like that. And now we're going to score this ring. So this ring right here is a one, two, three, four, five tile ring five tiles. So we're going to take his first ring marker. We're going to move it over here to the five and we're going to put out a signpost. So he's already got four reds. So let's see here. One, two, three, four reds and one white mushroom. So those become blues. Those are his mushrooms here. And now he's going to choose this signpost which gets him three additional reds. We're gonna place this into the garden and he's immediately gonna get three more reds. And now he's going to move a gnome and he's gonna reserve this space right there. All right, he has points, this is awesome. So now we're gonna go back to yellow. We're going to draw two new tile, two new tiles out of the bag, place those there and there's our first tile. That's a no-brainer. And our second tile. Um, let's choose this one. And we're gonna place it right there. So, we gotta score this tile. Ring, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, we're gonna take this and we're gonna move to a six. And we are gonna take this reward right here. So this is gonna go one, two, two pinks and one of those. And then we're gonna place it just like this. And since we chose this reward with two extra bonus tiles, we're gonna take one and one. So we're gonna take two additional pink. And that is the turn. So this is how rings are formed and this is how benefits are taken.
Let's look at these four actions. So I can move a gnome to reserve a path. I can reserve a gnome to access a signpost. I can trade at the market or I can collect a flower. So let's talk about these. The first one is reserve a path. So uh, yellow gnome has finished this, it's complete and he really needs to get out of there. So he starts building a new pathway like this. One, two, on his turn, he places his two tiles. He's gonna move to a new path. So that's the first action, reserving a path. The second action a gnome can take on their turn is to visit a signpost. And this is done just like this. Green gnome is gonna move here to this ring where this ring is sitting. And he's immediately gonna collect those three mushrooms. Congratulations, green gnome, that's awesome. So he visited the pathway and he collects three mushrooms. That is the second action. The third action is to trade at the market. So this is done by moving here to this location. And you'll see the twin wheel market thing. Came to the pinwheel market and he is going to trade his mushrooms. So. Blue currently has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red mushrooms. And so this is red times seven. He's gonna move that there like that and discard those. He's gonna get seven victory points. So it looks like this. He gets a crystal, which is worth five and a button, seven points. Action. And so that is trading at the market by visiting this location. The fourth action is to collect a flower. Collecting a flower is as easy as visiting it. So if my magenta gnome moves to this location, right here, she immediately collects this token. And this token is placed directly into her flower collection over there. And that is the action, collect a flower. All right. You are well on your way to playing a full round of Gnome Hollow. Uh, if you have any other questions, refer to the rules. And inside, there is an index where every single individual play issue is noted. And it shows that what page you can find that information on. So, I hope you enjoy playing Gnome Hollow.